Are you feeling a foggy? Can't stay on task easily? Are you easily distracted? How about this? Feel like your thinking is a little slow? Well, Dr. Rob is in the house to show you which foods and supplements you can add to your daily nutrition to help you maintain that great, healthy brain. Dr. Rob, I think when a lot of folks wake up, they get that early AM alarm around 6 or 6.30. I think we, we think we're supposed to feel a little tired, a little lethargic. Is it that we're falling into that routine? How should we feel in the morning? When you wake up, you should feel mentally alert and ready to go for the day. And if you don't, it's probably because you're not eating the right foods. And we brought today some foods mm -hmm. that help boost your memory, improve your ability to think on a run and focus, and improve your brain health. How do these foods do that? What's in them? Well, one of the unifying themes between all these foods is that they increase neurotransmitters in our brains particularly GABA and dopamine and serotonin. And so all of these foods will help do that. It helps boost your mood, helps boost your memory, helps boost your recall and your focus. And I think the problem is we always think, how do we get all of those foods into our diet, especially in the morning? Yeah, you just sneak them in a little bit here little and there. Bit. Blueberries, which I call my little blue powerhouses, are loaded with something called anthocyanin. Now, anthocyanin helps boost your memory. Now, how many blueberries do you want to eat on, on a daily That's basis? That's a good, good question. Two to three cups. But get this, make sure that they're not frozen blueberries because the if you freeze the blueberry, it destroys the anthocyanin, which is the chemical which helps boost your memory. So fresh, organic blueberries. So if you're making a smoothie, you should use fresh, not frozen, because I know you some folks freeze their fruits and then put them in the smoothie. Bad idea. No. Bad idea. You're robbing yourself. Green tea. Man, love green tea. It's an easy way to boost your memory, your recall, and improve your focus. Mm -hmm. And that's because green tea has a chemical in it called L-theanine. Helps boost your memory. Plus, it has less caffeine than coffee, so you don't get the jitters. Another great way to improve your memory. So there's, you're saying that's a good substitute if you're a coffee drinker. You got it. You got it. Avocados. Man, avocados help your entire body. The healthy fats that are in the avocado help decrease inflammation in the brain. And how do you get an, an avocado an in your avocado. diet? Hey, you know what? You can slice it. You can put it in with your breakfast, with your eggs. I like scrambled eggs and avocado in the morning. That's Great a good way one. to go. Sardines. Guess what? I heard Jem's favorite food is actually sardines and really? avocados. Yeah, that's what I heard. She's shaking her head. She's saying no. <laughs> sardines. But you know, who, 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 sorry, what are we going to do with those? But loaded with omega-3s and calcium, the omega-3s that are in the sardines help fight inflammation, decrease decrease blood pressure, decrease cholesterol, mm -hmm. right, and help protect your brain. Now, if Jem doesn't like the sardines, I think Maybe she'll love Maybe some pomegranate this. juice. There <laughs> yeah. you go. I think you'll win her over with that. Loaded with CLA, helps fight inflammation, decreases hypertension, and decreases uh, bad cholesterol levels, and inflammation in the prostate as well, but it's very healthy for the brain. There you go. And you bought so, the nuts. 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 My favorite is the walnut. And why the walnut? They look like little brains. And it's the vitamins, minerals, things like zinc and the omega-3s, which help fight off inflammation in the brain. And these are really easy to snack on. You throw it in a bag, breakfast easy to or do. lunch. For a man, 15 walnuts a day. For a woman, 10. Mm -hmm. Done. My favorite, man, and I know it's your favorite too, dark chocolate. chocolate. If you want to increase the serotonin and the dopamine in your brain, then have some slices of dark chocolate. The best way to enjoy the chocolate is actually to suck on the chocolate, not chew it, because oh. you're sucking on the chocolate. That slow release of the chemicals that are in the, the bioflavonoids that are in that chocolate, and the theobromine, helps increase your mood, helps release the serotonin and the dopamine, so you can go on that happiness tour. Right? There you Serotonin go. You're rocking and dopamines. In case and you, you can forget. feel really good. Boost that memory. That's a great tip because I know a lot of people, you yeah. put a chocolate I and you just start chocolate. chewing on it. I mean, you want to up your energy, a couple slices of dark chocolate, and you're ready to go. There you go. We got to yeah. wrap. But, Dr. Rob, of course, if you can't get these in your everyday diet, you have some great supplements that you can yes, get as well. Absolutely. And they if can you find don't like to eat sardines, you know, supplementations with a good multivitamin, omega 3s, vitamin D, all those supplements we have in our store at uh, alphamaleinstitute.com or americasfitnessdoctor.com. There you go. Some great people tip. don't like to eat sardines, so you know. Get it right there. Thank you so much, Dr.